What's Bob and you are? Dr. Telford. Thought she'd be cooler. What's she done? I just chose Drew over me for a brilliant opportunity. Well, he is more senior. Jack, whose side are you on? Well, yours, obviously, but you can see how Francesca got there. Yeah, she just played us off against each other and then laughed about it. Hmm, annoying, but so what? I don't know, I just, I thought she'd be different. But, nope, she's choosing to put her energy into Drew. Uh, Samira. I'm sorry if I was a bit flippant before. Um, about you and your career. How about we discuss it tomorrow over lunch? Sure. How's 1 p.m. at the Ivy? I'll be there. Fabulous. You were saying? Be one more sleep for the VR, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And matter, you're jealous. Uh, no. Uh, yes, and I'm excited, you know. I feel like a trailblazer. Totally, because middle-aged white guys just don't get that many opportunities. I can't help who I am. No, you can't. And I am super qualified. So maybe I needed the opportunity more than you did. Maybe. I think we just put this one down to the wisdom of Francesca. Mm, maybe we do. And maybe you're not sucking up enough. Yeah, maybe I'm not. But no hard feelings, eh? Let me buy you a coffee at lunch. I'll even throw on a Sally lunch. That's not necessary. Muffin of your choice. Um, I'm actually getting lunch with Francesca, yeah, to discuss my career. Right, well, here's your chance. Get in a good one. Nah, whatever. There's no shame, though. When I have to, I can suck wet cement through a straw. Yeah. Hey, Wave, if you need anything. So, uh, you said you want to discuss my career? I feel your frustration, Smita, but it's misplaced. Is it? Mm. You'll get your opportunities. Hope so. And you should have noticed by now, I'm not the boys club. Okay. I'm excited, to be honest, about what you bring to the department. You are? Hmm. I think you are a major talent with an incredible future. Thank you. So tell me your story. <coughs> My story? Mm. Childhood, family, I want the whole picture. Tell me everything. 